Hi, today we're going to look at busway springs and the busway plate that comes with those springs. <clears throat> this is for a 3000 amp GE bus. Um, what I've done is I've just assembled it on the floor. The bus would be coming through here and this video we're going to deconstruct this so if you are in the process of assembling these plates which can be a little bit confusing and the springs you just follow my steps in reverse and you will uh, you know successfully put your springs on so before we deconstruct it right here and right here it's a hole that goes all the way through you see it and usually we'll use a quarter 20 drop in anchor with a uh, quarter 20 by half inch bolt and we'll put our fender washer right here and we'll tighten it up we're only using quarter 20 because all that's doing is just preventing this spring from you know moving it's not holding any weight it's just preventing this base from moving uh, these right here they take a 9 16 head on this side and those are what connect this is the, the side of the bus this would be the side of the bus right here that's what this these right here are what connect the bus to the spring assembly and the spring assembly is what you know holds all the weight so when you get your when you get your uh, uh, manufacturers instructions they'll give you a formula on where to raise this nut and you'll raise it to wherever you know that formula specifies you to raise it to so in our in our example or in our bus stop we were raising it from the top right here to this bottom washer was four and three quarter now it could be you know different for what your your assembly but ours was you know it required four and three quarter so yeah the you know you'll have to you'll have to loosen these attach this to the side of your bus duck as it's coming up and then retighten these and then after that you're going to have to you know raise your spring up to torque it but the first thing you should have done was put your anchors in so that's how the the springs work on the bus duck system there's two of them and with different you know, ampacity bus duct systems, like this is for a 3000 amp. For the 4000 amp, it would be two springs. Uh, I, I believe they make a, a, a three spring model as well, but you know, just for the 3000, that's all you need is one spring, you know, by GE. So let's take these off. And now we're looking at the plates. These are a little bit confusing because they just come in all these different, just all these different, you know, pieces to it, and it doesn't really explain how to put it together. So when you're first assembling it, the first thing you want to do, you're not going to have any of that. You're going to have your you know, this is your bus duck right here coming through, your, your riser. So you're going to have to, they give you little 1032 screws, you're going to have to put a 1032 there, a 1032 there, yeah, it's not lining up perfectly, but yeah, 1032 there, 1032 there, and a 1032 here. Once you have that, you know, in place, then you're going to take this piece and you're going to turn it and you're going to insert it into your, uh, there's like a little opening in between your bus and you're going to turn it inside that. 
and then you take your 1032s and you put two there as well. So now you'll have your your bus piece coming up here and your bus piece coming up here. It's all one piece, but this, this there's like a little hole in the middle and this blocks the hole. And then lastly, you're gonna take these pieces that come from the manufacturer and you're gonna place them right there. Place another one right here. There's the hole. Just like that. And you do the same to this side. The holes. Put your holes and then your, your 1032s and all these different spots. And you know, if you prefer, you can take uh, like a Zamac or a quarter 20 and you can bolt this to your curb. You should have a four inch curb coming up. But yeah, you can, you, you can, you know, Zamac it. Uh, quarter 20 it with a drop in anchor um, or you could just leave it on you know there's there's no set specification saying you have to bolt it to the uh, curb but I guess it'd just be good practice but yeah that's all it's to it no uh, like I said the manufacturer really didn't show you how to put this together so I figured I'd uh, make this video and share thanks for watching